one evening. An old man was passing through a village. From inside a small house, he heard a lovely voice singing a song. He waited on the road till the song ended. Then he went near the house and looked inside. The singer was a small girl. He patted her on the back affectionately and gave her a moha. The girl's father, whose name was Mohan, stared at the unexpected present. He snatched the mohar from his daughter's hand. As soon as the traveller turned to leave, Mohan shouted, Wait! What about the rest of what you owe me? The traveller looked at Mohan with great surprise. Mohan continued, You old man! The price for enjoying my daughter's song is not just one moha but ten. Give me the rest the sooner, the better. It did not take the traveller long to realise how greedy the fellow was. But he pretended. not to understand and said. Oh, great father of the little musician. I'm sorry to inform you that. I have no more mohurs with me. At the moment. What should I do? You can give me your cap, your gold chain and your shoes, replied Mohan. Certainly, your head which is so clever, deserves a cap, and your neck which supports such a wonderful head deserves a chain. But my friend, these are old and do not have much value. Why don't you come with me to my house? I will gladly give you one hundred mohurs. The one I gave you has lost its luster. You can return that. If you decide to come with me. Mohan said excitedly, 100 mohurs. You are really generous. How far is it to your house? Of course, I am ready to walk a hundred miles. For a hundred mohurs, said Mohan gleefully. That will be unnecessary. You have to walk only three miles, said the traveller. Mohan returned the moha that he had received from the old man. Then he followed him. to get the promised hundred mohurs. As they walked, Mohan was very excited. Do you know what I will do? With the hundred mohurs? he asked. No, replied the old man. I will build a castle. 
which will be bigger than the king's palace. Is that so? And I will tell the king that I want to marry his daughter. But you are already married and blessed with a daughter. So what? I will marry again. And this time, I will marry the princess. Aha, I see. Soon they entered the town and arrived in front of the king's palace. Seeing the traveller going towards the palace gate, Mohan asked, Why are you going there? That is my house, said the traveller. Mohan looked at the old man very carefully and recognized him. He was indeed the king. Mohan had not recognized him because he was in disguise. Mohan was speechless. Then the king said politely, but firmly, Now listen, you wonderful father of that sweet little singer. Your daughter's song gave me joy for five minutes. In return, I gave you joy for one full hour by promising you a hundred muhurs. Your daughter's art gave me joy. In return, my promise gave you joy. Is that not a fair exchange? But my joy was followed by disappointment. When you showed me, How stupid and greedy you were. In exchange, I have just made sure that your joy too is followed by disappointment. Now get out. Mohan returned to his village. Very sorry that he lost his moha and also earned the king's wrath.